Do you play Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat 1? Well, here are the best cameos that you need to be using. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's go ahead and get into these cameos. My first choice when it comes to Shang Tsung's cameos is Scorpion for two main reasons. The first one, of course, being combo extension, especially because we can really utilize that in the air, of course. I mean, let's be honest, Shang Tsung is kind of a zoner, right? We got the fireballs, we got multiple fireballs, and having more fireballs with Scorpion? Oh man, what a choice. Plus, of course, Shang Tsung has the ability to transform into your opponent, which can be awesome when enhanced because you do more damage. And Cameo Scorpion's bad cameo move is an armored pullback full screen, and this gives you the spacing to then have that free second to turn into your opponent and then go crazy. Shang Tsung definitely benefits from the air combo extension that Scorpion offers and the full screen reset giving us the time we need to do our abilities or just keep on our fireball game and just completely zone out our opponent. I love using Serena with Shang Tsung because of course we get the combo extension with her back cameo. We get another fireball on top of our fireballs. We can completely obliterate our opponent's meter which can then negate our opponent's ability to either teleport or enhance our moves to go through armor to get through our fireballs, allowing us to zone out even more. But also during Serena's back cameo, you have that quick second to morph into your opponent, which as a Shang Tsung player, you really need. Serena just gives Shang Tsung some really good tools, time to morph, combo extension, and meter depletion. I mean, as a sorcerer, it kind of makes sense that Shang Tsung would have that kind of move, right? So it just goes really well with his aesthetic as well, in my opinion. And believe it or not, I love using Kano with Shang Tsung. For the same reason as Serena, man, we get awesome combo extension. But the biggest reason why I love using Kano is actually his laser eye move, because that actually restands our opponent from a falling knockdown, negating their wake up ability, and putting us at full screen, allowing us to keep up our fireball game, morph into our opponent, things that Shang Tsung really wants to do with that spacing is very doable when using Kano. See, now we're at full screen from that laser move. We can either morph, we can then do our fireball game. Again, we can just do the things that Shang Tsung wants to do with the full screen spacing that Kano gives us, and it's just a great option. And funny enough, I love using Shijinko with Shang Tsung because come on, more sorcery, more morphing? You're telling me I could morph into my opponent, have the rope, but then also get double rope with my freaking cameo? Bro, come on. Shijinko with Shang Tsung is just like the ultimate double your opponent mirror match, and goddamn, it is so much fun, dude. Like, if you're gonna learn Shang Tsung, chances are you already have a really good base on understanding of the entire roster, which that knowledge, of course, helps out using Shijinko for the same exact reason. So honestly, though it's a fun pair, it's also a great pair. These are just my cameo recommendations when it comes to Shang Tsung and Mortal Kombat 1. Let me know down below, guys, who do you pair Shang Tsung up with and why? Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and take it one step at a time.